Um, hello! Um, I am currently in the middle of trying to get this colour out of my hair. Um, I'm getting a bit bored. <laughs> I've had the same colour hair for about two months now. That's ages. It's, it's probably not even two months actually. But I'm getting bored. So um, I'm trying to get the colour out of it at the moment because I'm going back to uni in about five weeks time. Um, money's tight, I'm going to have to get a job. Yes. So I'm going to um, try and get a little part time job of some description. Um, and in this tough economic climate, um, I'm not so sure purple hair is going to help me out so much. So I'm going to, I quite fancy silver hair. Anyway, so I'm going to try and get this colour out and I'm going to give it a little bleach and a little tone, a little bit more of a tone. And I'm going to have a go at that. Um, I think Directions on Manic Panic does what does like a silver, it's called Virgin Snow or something. Um, so I'm going to have a little go of that as well, so that's exciting, so you can watch me do that, so it's not all doom and gloom. Okay, so this is a good tip that um, I've found, um, partly I found this out on YouTube and partly um, because my next door neighbour's son's girlfriend is training to be a hairdresser and um, she often gives me tips and helps me out when I'm doing mad colours. So, to strip colour from hair, um, I've been told that washing up liquid is good for this, um, and I've been told that you don't want to use something like green washing up liquid because it might leave a green tint. Now, I don't know whether this is true, but I wasn't willing to find that out the hard way, quite frankly, because um, you have enough hair disasters when you're messing about with your hair like I do, so I don't need to add um, to that mix. So, I went out and I got Lavender washing up liquid. Clear is good, but there wasn't any clear, so I thought, well, I'll get at least one that if it does stain my hair, at least it's only going to stain it the colour it already is. So you want to put about half of the mixture should be washing up liquid. So there you go. Washing up liquid in a bowl. The other half wants to be, so you want to put the same amount again in of shampoo. This is just cheap shampoo from Poundland. Um, so put the same amount in there. Oh. I think I've put a bit more in, so I'll just add some more washing liquid to even it out. And then what people keep saying, um, what I found on YouTube, is vitamin C powders. Now, I can't find vitamin C powders anywhere, but I have been able to find vitamin C tablets. So what I'm going to do is, I've got a vitamin C tablet here. I'm going to put it in a plastic bag here. And I'm going to bash shit out of it with a spoon until it is a vitamin C powder. So if you just bear with me when I do that really quickly. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Right, so now I've got a little bag of vitamin C powder. That was easy, wasn't it? So next thing you want to do is pour your vitamin C powder into this mixture. Like so. And then we're going to mix it up. So I've mixed it up. It's like a foam. So what you want to go and do is wash your hair with that. Um, now what I was told was wet your hair, put it on to wash it. But then just keep manipulating it for about three to five minutes. Just keep squishing it around your head. Um, and then rinse it out. Um, and then you can do it again if you want to. But I'll possibly just do it once. Um, and then condition it so I'm gonna go and do that I'm gonna go and wash my hair with this and see what happens um, and I will film the result so this is what my hair looks like I don't know if the lights very good in here actually but it's quite purple at the minute yeah quite purple I toned it the other day and I managed to get some of the color out the front um, but I need to pull some more color up before I can, before I can tone it anymore so I'm going to go and have a bash at doing this, and I'll film the result. Thanks. Hey, okay, so I've done the whole um, washing my hair with vitamin C and washing up liquid. Um, I did it twice. My hair felt like absolute poo, so I put some conditioner on it, I rinsed it out, it still felt like absolute poo, so I put more conditioner on it, and it's a bit frizzy-wizzy, um, actually it's a lot frizzy, in fact, you know what, I think I'm going to go condition it again, 
Um, so it did pull a bit of colour out. The first one pulled loads of colour out. You could see it in the water. The second one, not so much. It has faded it in parts and parts. It's still um, purple. It did pull some colour out, but it really frazzles your hair. So you're going to need a deep condition after you've done it. I might go and put a treatment or something on this now. Um, so yeah, watch this space for silver white hair type thing. See you later, thanks for watching, bye!